I'm excited to introduce the fourth in our series of social justice projects, Food Justice, Growing a Healthier Community Through Art. Art, you know, of course I'm biased working in the arts, but I really do believe that it's a perfect mechanism to start difficult conversation because everybody can come to it very subjectively. They can come to it from their own perspective, what they're seeing in a piece, what they're understanding about that piece. And artists are certainly complex problem solvers. Think outside of the box a little bit, present things that might be under the surface that people aren't thinking about that compels them to kind of investigate in the District of Columbia. They had been upgrading a computer system and one day thousands of people across the city went to go use their SNAP benefits and found that there was no money in their accounts and they were not able to complete their grocery purchases. I think many of us have uh, fear or anxiety around what if I go to pay for my food and I can't and all these other people in line are seeing this, maybe I'm being judged. So I think that's a very familiar fear. The piece asks us to look closely at how we scrutinize people who use government food programs and sort of calls to question the ways in which we don't scrutinize the programs themselves, how they're governed and how we deliver those services to the people. I was thinking about foods I grew up eating and how they've made their way around the world, like how some of these things that I grew up eating were part of the narrative of the slave trade. Salted fish was by the Scottish to take back to the colonies so that the slaves could have more protein. I'll never eat some of this stuff ever again. <laughs> Because one of the goals for the project was to connect people in our community with service agencies and other nonprofits that are working very diligently towards these issues, we have invited a range of partners to work with us. Just Harvest, 412 Food Rescue, Grow Pittsburgh, the Black Urban Gardeners and Farmers of Pittsburgh, and the Food Policy Council. We see food justice as a uh, a small p political problem, that we have the resources as a society to eliminate hunger, we have the resources to make sure that everyone's food secure, we have collectively chosen not to do that. We waste 30 to 40 percent of our food supply and we know that on the other side of that, especially post-pandemic, one in five Americans are experiencing food insecurity. So there is a very clear disconnect between surplus and excess. We have so much food. In fact, enough food that if we recover all of the food that's wasted, we'll feel everyone who's hungry four times over. When we start to put our gaze at these social issues, they're all interconnected. There's a real deep intersectionality, whether you're working within people being hungry or having access to water or having access to the land. It's so easy for us to go into silos in social justice because there's so much work to be done in all of these silos. So we went undercover as farmers. We got some free seed. I remember they were having hot dogs there. I touched the seed and I was stopped before reaching for the hot dog. And I found out later that the seed was pre-treated with pesticides and pre-emergence and it's pretty dangerous to touch and then grab a hot dog. It was being grown in a hydroponic solution and the roots were kind of real intense and it just looked like it could start walking around. I was like, wouldn't it be great if we could somehow make it move and walk around and start then, you know, interacting with people. One of the things that this exhibit explicitly reminds us of is that there is a lot of different ways that people learn about problems. That people engage visually, people engage in writing, people engage in social media, people also engage artistically and through their own creativity. It helps to build an understanding of the food justice issue from the creative depths of our souls. But I think it also has this implicit connection that it reminds us of the risk that we lose people's creativity by allowing them to go hungry. And that when we as a society choose together to make sure that everyone's got enough food to eat, we also protect people enough to be healthy, to be productive, and to be creative. 
I think you'll find it's an amazing exhibition dealing with many, many important issues around food insecurity and encouraging community folks to get involved and see how they can help make a difference.